Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Today we want to take a look at two forms of energy, sound and light. And we want to see how those forms of energy move. Both sound energy and light energy travel in waves, and sound waves are a lot slower than light waves. Light waves travel really, really fast. That's why when we see the light from a lightning bolt, it's always before we hear the sound waves of the thunder. So we can use this slinky to show you how sound waves and light waves travel. I'm going to put some energy into this slinky and I want you to watch how that energy bounces back and forth down the slinky. Watch how it moves. If you look carefully, you can watch the energy move in waves down the slinky and bounce back and forth. That slinky was cool, but we wanted to make a different wave machine to show you how energy travels in waves. To do that, we used duct tape, plain wooden sticks, and lots of candy. Now we're going to take this outside, stretch the wave machine out, and put some energy into the wave machine so you can see how it works. So now we get to see this wave machine in action. A wave is energy, so I need to add some energy to this wave machine, and when I do that, I want you to watch that energy move down the machine from one end back to the other. Watch. Did you see the energy move down the machine, and then back, and then back down the machine, and back toward me? Remember, sound and light are both energy and they travel in waves a lot like this. Sound energy and light energy are traveling in waves. Let's see what happens when we add more energy to our wave machine. We get a nice clean crisp wave that travels down the machine and back and down and back and down and back. The candy wave machine. It was so cool to see how that wave energy traveled down that wave machine. But if you wanted to explore waves on your own, there's a great simulation put out by the people from FET. And we're going to zoom in and explore it a little bit to see what that does. The simulation is called Wave on a String. So let's take a look and see what it can do. Explore it. Well, I see a, a wave machine that looks a lot like our wave machine. It's stretched out. And just like we put some energy in our wave machine to see that wave travel, let's put some energy into this wave machine. And there the wave is. You can see it travel down from one end and back to the other. Let's do it one more time. Well, what happens if I make that energy bigger? If I introduce more energy, I can turn up the little dial here and make my wave bigger. I can turn it up all the way put more energy into it and you can see my wave gets bigger. The other thing we can do if we wanted these waves to come automatically is we can hit this button up here and the machine makes the waves come automatically. We can also hit this button up here if we wanted to collect some data and really measure things, rulers come onto the screen. There's so much that this simulation can do, you can explore it on your own. Sound and light energy travel in waves. You can try making your own wave machine or check out some cool simulations on waves. If you want to learn even more about sound energy and light energy and how they travel, check out our links in the video description. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching.